Hello, um, hi there, everybody. My name is Mo Joy Sineti. I'm a well, an elder woman now, <laughs> a mother of four and a grandmother of five. I'm married to Mishek Sineti, and we live here. Uh, well, we originated from Zimbabwe, and I grew up um, in the village with my mom and dad until I went for my nursing in Arare and I've been nursing for more than 34 years now well that's me about me yes but well, obviously I did a lot of uh, different types of nursing well we are talking about Women's Day International Women's Day what do I think about that well I look at my well my life when I was young in the villages and maybe I was privileged because I grew up as a headmaster's daughter you know, so my, my, my father and mother, they valued both of us, we, male and female. But I would see in the villages, a lot of women were not valued at all in, in terms of education. They were forced to go to get married or they were given away as, um, in, in exchange for wealth because the, the families were poor. But yeah, now we are celebrating the voice of a woman. You know, we are celebrating the value of a woman. We are celebrating women as people who were to be liberated and how wonderful it is. Um, I mean, in my profession, I grew up, uh, well, as I, as I said before, as a nurse, but in, in that profession, there were so many privileges, privileges to the extent that I came to United Kingdom where I, I did my master's in health and, and research. Imagine my husband valued me to even allow me to come here and to do all these things i was privileged but i look at others who were not privileged who could not even be sent to advance their education to even been been i mean been valued even in the nursing profession i know that nursing profession is well, well there are a lot of females more than males but do you know what males are, are managers much more than females males they advance much faster than females so well, I celebrate the day like Monday tomorrow. I'm going to celebrate it. Do you know why? Because at least we are, the whole world is talking about a woman. The whole world is valuing women. And, and that to me is, is freeing me as a person who was looking at how women were being treated. Even when I was in, in, in the nursing profession uh, in, 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 in Mufakose where I was a primary care nurse. You would see that um, cases of women abuse, women who are infected, women who are abused because of uh, polygamy, and they have no voice. Husbands who are uh, alcoholics are coming to abuse women, and they have no voice. But now, women are beginning to be wealthier. Women are beginning to create change. They are beginning to, to instill change in the society. I admire a woman, well, I'm motivated by women in the Bible, and the woman I admire is Deborah. Deborah was a judge. Imagine a judge in the nation of Israel. I, I wonder her time how she became a judge. Because uh, if you look at how the Bible is written, they would count men and not women. They would not include women and children when they are counting numbers of attendees in the church. So I, I don't think they were much valued as as a you know uh, as a a person who could be counted but Deborah was a judge and you hear a man saying I will not go without you <laughs> come with me to go for war so Deborah led a war and a, a battle was won by a woman Cicera who managed to kill the the enemy so women like that in the Bible when I go in there I get motivated women like Esther Esther liberated the whole nation by her confidence when she went before the king and she interceded for her nation so it's 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 these women who motivate me and they they make me understand that you can do it as long as you 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 go you go for it as long as you have courage and faith and hope so what am what am i saying i'm saying even if it's hard stand up woman and let's go let's go for war let's go for for, for wealth, let's go for business, let's go for education, let's raise our children, the fear of God, let's raise them um, to do, to achieve, to do things, to achieve them. 
and to complete them knowing that they are people of value. So I will, I will celebrate and value and want to encourage every woman out there. It is possible. You can do it. You can pro progress with your education. You are valuable. Don't expose yourselves to, to, to promiscuity and to abuse just because you, you have not put a value in yourself. By the way, I am a founder of Regeneration Center, which is a charity in the United Kingdom, which is, uh, which is faith-based, but has got departments which are health initiatives and uh, charitable initiatives. We, we, we talk about advanced dementia, dementia awareness we, in, the, in the black and ethnic minority. So we have gone to Africa, South Africa. We have established some, some churches there and also this Africa Dementia Services. And Zimbabwe, we have several churches there. And we are also doing this charity, charity